Today, I wanna to give you seven things to consider when giving your clients homework. I find giving clients homework not just a great tool to be able to help them just move better in the gym, but a fantastic tool of helping getting them out of pain a lot, lot faster. And the reason for this is, I am not only educating them, but I'm giving them the tools and the responsibility to go away and help themselves. So what do we need to consider? What am I gonna consider before I actually, actually prescribe this homework? Well, first thing is, is what I've prescribed realistic? Does it fit into their lifestyle and do they have the time to do it? Have they got carried away and give them six, seven, eight exercises to do? The key is to start small. I would recommend two, maximum three exercises to start off with and then over time you can develop from there. Number two, do they actually have the confidence and are they competent in the exercises you've given them? So it's all well and good going, are you confident to do that? And they'll go, yeah, of course I am. But have you seen them do the exercise? Have you seen them do it enough times that you're happy as a coach? And this is where filming exercises can become really useful. So get a client to actually film you do the exercise, then they can go away and look at how it should be done and look at the kind of control that they need to be kind of looking at creating when they're doing it. Number three, do the clients understand why? Or are you giving them education as to why you've prescribed the exercise? That's gonna help develop more trust and give the clients far more belief in what you're doing. Number four, is it meaningful? Can they relate it to activities they're doing maybe socially or in their kind of spare time? Or does it relate to their training in some way? Making sure the exercise is meaningful and relates to other activities is a really good way of really getting the clients to get on board with what you're asking them to do. Number five, does it have to be movement? Can we think out the box a little bit? Think a bit more holistically. Think about stress and sleep and things I'm always talking about. That could be a really good way to start off in the early days. So you might start off with some basic motor control movements and then alongside that, or maybe a week later, you're giving them some stress management and some sleep management skills. That could be a great way of getting someone to move forward. Number six, sounds like an obvious one, but is it actually home workable? Can they actually do it on their own at home? Do they need much kit? If they need kit, have they got the kit? Or if it's body weight, have they got the actual space to do what you've asked them to do? And number seven, can it be tweaked? Can you find a way to make the exercise a little bit harder or a little bit easier, depending on where the client's at right now? Maybe you could give them an exercise and give them some ideas on how they could have some variety and some different ways of tweaking it as they progress. So let's recap on them. Seven things. Number one, is it realistic? Does it fit into their lifestyle? Do they have time to do what you've asked them to do? Number two, is the client actually confident and competent in what you've asked them to do? Number three, do they understand why? Have you given them a reason why they're doing what they're doing? Develop that trust, develop that belief in your programming. Number four, is it meaningful? Can they relate it into their lifestyle or their training environment in some way? Number five, does it have to be movement? Can you think out the box and think about stress and sleep as well as movement? Number six, is it actually home workable? Can they actually do it at home? And number seven, can it be tweaked? Can you find ways to make it a little bit harder or find ways to make it a little bit easier?